Hey friends, I am so excited to see you. This is super fun. I don't know if this is your first time or if you were back over um, in January last month when we did one of these two, but it is so great to see you. My name is Mr. Jim and you probably recognize my voice, but now we're friends officially. It's official, we're friends, okay? Super cool. I love that a bunch of you are, I can see your, your parents. That is super fun to do this together. So we have some really fun things to get into, okay? And so what today is, I want to turn you into an awesome storyteller, okay? So in a little bit, we are going to build a story together, okay? And then I want you guys, hey, hey, I want you guys to record yourself telling this story, okay? And I'm going to put the best one to put on Kids Short Stories podcast. So it'll be one of your voices telling the story that we're going to create together right now. Does that sound awesome? Super cool. Okay. Right now, I want you guys, we need uh, paper, crayons, markers. We need something to color and draw with, okay? Because I think that is going to help you remember this story very well. So we are going to build the story together, okay? And I want you guys to color and draw an awesome picture to show what this story is. And so as we're waiting um, for some paper and crayons, thank you, parents. Um, it is great to see you all. Um, if you're able to, I would love to see where you're from. So in the chat, put your name. We have about 20 people on right now. So good to see you. I want to see where in the world you guys are from. Where I am in the world, I normally live in South Carolina. <clears throat> and right now I'm actually in Texas. So in my part of the world, it's 10 a.m. Oh, Wisconsin. Oh, hey, Carson and Madison. That's really fun. All right. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Let's see. Kansas. Hey, Kansas. Maggie and Stewart from Canada. Oh. Cherry Valley, Illinois. So fun story. I'm actually originally from the Chicago area by Wisconsin. So that's pretty cool. Henry from Chapel Hill. Hey, Henry. Uh, hi, Heidi from Vancouver. Nora and Maddie from Iowa. Get it back. Sammy and Penelope from Indiana. William and Andrew from New Hampshire. From Colorado. It is very cold and very snowy. So <clears throat> I'm in Texas right now in Dallas. Do you think Texas gets a lot of snow? They're not supposed to, but there's a lot of snow coming tomorrow and everyone's very worried about it. Uh, it's kind of silly. Um, I see, all right, Charlotte is from Toronto, Charlie Washington, DC. Oldie's from Toronto as well. Poppy from Monticello, Illinois. I, I do know where that is. Ambrose from Toronto. We, we got a really strong Canadian crowd. I love it. Super fun. All right. So I'm hoping that we have stuff to color with. All right. So that's good. And I just want to say thank you, parents. You guys are, you know, I have kids. I know how this goes. And so I know you guys are the, uh, the, the ones that actually make all this stuff happen. So thank you, parents. Um, Hey, so what did you guys think? Yeah. And there's going to be some times when um, we're going to have our microphones on. And now's, now's a good time. If you want to put your microphones on, we're going to talk a little bit. Um, and then there will be some times where we'll turn our microphones Hello. 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 So, hey. Hello. So good to see you guys. So, <laughs> this is so silly, right? So this this week... Micah, oh my gosh, crazy what happened to Spy Kids headquarters. I don't know if you heard all those episodes. Did you hear what Dr. Did actually, said? I heard, I heard a lot. Oh, 
Oh no. So we if you like haven't heard, <clears throat> head yeah. is frozen solid. I love like, you. A big ice block. It is it's a big mess. Okay. So we haven't quite figured out how to uh unfreeze my kid HQ. And if you guys have any really good ideas for um for melting HQ, that would be helpful. Yeah. My sock guys. Some of Micah's maybe you Micah's guys, get some of Micah's I got a message saying my HQ like, is I'm unstable. Like, Are you able to see and hear me okay? Um, yeah, we're good. Okay. Thanks. All right. Um, so yeah, we're still trying to figure out a way how to thaw out HQ. And so if you have any good ideas, put it in the chat. And, um, oh, Carson, it's a fire breathing dragon to unfreeze it. I love fire breathing dragons. That, that might come in handy one day. Right. Um, so last January, we talked about, I'm going to mute everybody. I'm going to turn everyone's microphones off so we can focus on story time. All right. So what is a story? We talked about this a little bit last month. And a story has four really important things. There's a scene. Do you know what a scene is? A scene means, you know, I'm sitting in a room right now. And this room, you know, has a couch and chairs and a desk. It's the place where the story happens. So that's the scene. Then we have the characters. And so every story needs a character, right? And so all the ideas that you guys send in, there's always a, a character. It's usually you, and that's pretty fun. And then a good story has a problem. Okay, so a problem, you know, is it's a big problem that Dr. Stinky Breath has frozen HQ. That's a massive problem. Um, and then I like stories to have a happy ending. All right. So that means, you know, we solve the problem, we figure it out, we, um, uh, we got to find a way to, to melt HQ, right? So we are gonna, oh, I see some more fun. I, oh, wow. You guys are full of really good ideas. I'm going to remember all of these. Lots of fire breathing, um, some salt, a salt gun. That is really smart. You're remembering one of the stories earlier about melting ice using salt. Good job. A hot stove, fire and lava from Charlotte, a candle, hot fire, take a piece of the sun and throw it at the ice. That would be, that would be a little complicated to take a piece of the sun. I'm not sure how we would be able to do that. <laughs> All right. So. Get your thinking brains on and focused, all right? We are going to think of a scene. So right now, we're gonna come up with a story and we're gonna come up with those four pieces to the story. I'm gonna create and tell the story and you're gonna draw it out. And then after this, I want you guys to record your voice on your parents' phone. Um, that would be the easiest way. And then parents, you can email that to me at jim at kidsshortstories.org. And I'm gonna pick the best storyteller of our crew. All right, super. All right, so I need some ideas in the chat <clears throat> of a scene. So what place should our story take place? in the sky, in Africa, in a big, big, big building, a mountain, the sun, the north, these are some really good ideas, the Arctic Ocean, a castle. Ooh, I, I'm like in castle at Spy Kids headquarters, mountains, snowy mountain. How about <clears throat> a castle? on the top of a snowy mountain. I like that. All right, so we have our scene. All right, now who are the characters? In this story, is the character like a creature, like an animal that lives outside of the castle? Or is it a, you know, a princess or someone inside the castle? Um, I need help. I need help, guys. 
Calvin and Hobbes. Those are some silly dudes. Me and Stuart in a giant blueberry. A dragon, a rescue dragon, unicorns. Nelly the dragon, dragon. All right, I'm, I'm seeing dragon and princess. Princess, princess. <clears throat> Purple ninjas, polka dot. Stinky breath, princess, stinky breath. Dr. Stinky breath's gotta be in there. Oh man. So I'm seeing a lot of dragons and a lot of princesses. Um, and possibly Dr. Stinky breath. I'm not sure if he likes the cold that much. So he might not be there, I'm not sure. Now, all right, so let's have, there's a dragon and a princess. All right, so what could a problem be? Maybe the princess is lost or the dragon is lost and the dragon needs to be saved by the princess? Or I wanna hear your ideas. I'm gonna sip on my coffee. Mm. Both of them are lost. The castle catches on fire. That would be terrible. The princess was taken by Dr. Stinky Breath and then has to be saved by the dragon. The magic raspberry crushes the princess's castle and makes a huge raspberry mess. That would be so sticky. Uh, the princess is scared of the dragon. The princess gets lost. Super Baby will help them. Uh, the dragon takes Dr. Stinky Breath. They ran out of food and there's no more because the snow is around and they're hungry. What are they gonna do? That's fun. Uh, princess trapped in dungeon. Dragon has to find and rescue her. <clears throat> wow. All of these are really good ideas. I love them. Let's do... Mm -hmm -hmm. I, I'm kind of curious to see how we could make a raspberry crush the princess's castle. <laughs> I think that would be kind of fun. So let's, let's pretend that it's the, the, the princess lives in the castle and <clears throat> a giant blueberry. Have you guys ever seen the movie, um, Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. That one's pretty funny of all the food falling from the sky. So it'd be kind of like that of a blueberry crashing down, like a huge one crashing down on the castle. And then the princess is stuck in the castle and you know who's gonna save her? The dragon! Because <laughs> I think this is a nice dragon. All right, we need some names. What is, <clears throat> what is, uh, Miss Princess's name, and what's the dragon's name? Miss Honeyberry, Princess P, Ruby, Princess Penelope. I like Princess Penelope, Mimi, Princess Rosie, the dragon's winger. Fluffy the dragon, that's funny. <laughs> Briar, Fiona, Harvey. Harvey, that's a good one. Princess Charlotte, dragon's name's funny. Ellie, Nellie the dragon, that's fun. I don't know how to say that one. Lulena, Lulena. Plus one to Fluffy the dragon. All right, Fluffy the dragon by popular consent. Fluffy the dragon. And what was the, there was a princess name. That was pretty funny. Princess Penelope. That's funny. All right. So get your markers and crayons and papers ready because we are going to create a story right now about Princess Penelope who got stuck in her castle when a giant blueberry fell out of the sky and she had to be saved by dun dun dun. Uh, whoa, oh shoot, Fluffy the dragon. I gotta write this down so I don't forget. Fluffy the dragon and Penelope the princess. 
I don't think I've ever done a story like this before. So that is so cool. See, ideas, when we can get together and make fun ideas, we come up with some really cool stories. So are you ready for today's adventure? Me too, let's go! One day, far, far away, in a very tall mountain, which was covered in snow, was this beautiful castle. This castle was so tall. It had all these points. Remember to color the castle. It had all these tall points and places that you could look out and see for miles and miles, all the mountains around. It was in a beautiful place above the trees. So it was just snow all around. And if you looked down, you could see all the green evergreen trees that were like pointy little triangles all throughout the mountains. And there was only one person that lived in this castle. You see, this castle was a very special place and it had to be protected. And do you know who was there to protect it? Penelope the princess. She was one of the most bravest princesses in the entire world and she was given a job to protect this place. You know, this place was very special. Some say it was magical. And no one understood how so many crazy things would happen there. But it was Penelope's job to make sure that nothing would get too crazy. Well, you see, one day when she was out taking care of the castle and cleaning it up, she accidentally bumped a, a jar of blueberries out of the window. Oh man, what a big mess, she said. As the blueberries tumbled out of the window, they fell into a magic hole. This magic hole was, it just would appear out of nowhere sometimes. And, and anything that would fall in there, something crazy would happen. It, it, you never knew what was gonna happen. But she didn't know that those blueberries fell in that magical hole. One day, or later that day, she was, oh, she was um, painting. She was a really, really good painter. And while she was painting, she started hearing some big boom, 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 like all around the castle, like in the forest. And she looked out the window and it was blueberries falling from the sky. It was crazy. They were just, it was like raining these giant blueberries. The blueberries were the size of like a big, big car and were really messy. When they would, when they would hit a tree, they would like explode blueberry juice everywhere. Pretty soon, her entire castle was completely covered in blueberry juice. It was very sticky, very messy. And she had no way of getting out because she would just get covered in this sticky stuff. And she, she poked some of the blueberry jelly with her finger and it like, it was sucking her finger in. It was like some kind of quicksand blueberry juice. So there's no way that she could touch it. She did not know what to do. Well, you see on the other side of the mountain, there was a cave and inside that cave lived a mystical creature. He had many legends and many stories told about him and nobody had ever seen this creature before, but they all called him the evil and scary, Fluffy the Dragon. Fluffy the Dragon had so many stories told about him that Nobody knew what was true and what was real, but Fluffy the dragon was definitely real. Every morning he would come out from his cave and, and make a big yawn and, and say, oh, what am I gonna do today? Huh, I, I should go exploring. You see, Fluffy the dragon was a really good explorer. He loved to hike all over the place and. He had learned almost every corner of the entire world. He had been almost everywhere. 
So today, while he was exploring, he heard something that he'd never heard before, and it was coming from the castle. And it sounded like this. It didn't make any sense to him. He knew that the princess lived in that castle, but he'd never heard like that noise before. And so Fluffy the dragon had to go check it out. As he was carefully walking through the forest and he looked up the mountain and saw something he'd never seen before. Blueberries had destroyed the mountain. Blueberry juice was everywhere and even all over the castle. He couldn't, he didn't understand what had happened. And I understand because that had never happened anywhere before. And so, but Fluffy, the dragon, flew up to the castle as fast as he could. And he said, A princess, are you stuck in there? And she said, Yes, I'm stuck in there. I'm kind of feeling really good at you. Still, Fluffy couldn't understand what she was saying because all the blueberry juice it was like impossible to talk through that. So Fluffy, he had an idea. You see that morning, you know what he forgot to do? He forgot to eat his breakfast. So he was really, really hungry. And so he said, ooh, I'm gonna go get some bagels and I'm gonna cover my bagels in this delicious blueberry jam. And that's what he did. Fluffy the dragon had some of the biggest bagels I've ever seen before. They were um, probably as big as a house. And so he carried the bagels up and with his tail, he swept some of the blueberry jam and put it right on the bagel and, and covered the bagel and gobbled it up. And that helped some, but there was still a lot more blueberry jam on the castle. Hmm. And then he knew what to do. He was able to talk to all the animals in the forest. And so he put a message out as loud as he could. He said, animals, come up to the castle and help me. And just like that, all the animals from the forest came running out to the castle. They were so excited to see all this blueberry jelly. And they ate it all up and the princess was saved. Penelope the princess was now rescued from this blueberry jelly uh, disaster. The end. All right, friends, that was, that was a fun story. So, all right, like I said, I hope you guys have been drawing and coloring, can you hold it up to the video so I can see? Oh, whoa, oh my goodness. I see a giant blueberry. I see Princess Penelope on top of the castle. I see a castle completely covered in blueberry jelly. And oh, wow, you guys are so good at these. I love it. All right. You guys, you guys crushed it. All right, in a minute, I'm, we're gonna do a contest. And if you get the right answer, you get some free spy gear. Sound good? Pretty sweet. All right, so um, like I said, I would love for you guys to, it doesn't have to be exactly how I told it. Don't worry about that. But I wanna hear how you remember the story happening. Okay, so remember, you know, we're, there's the castle on, on top of the mountain. Blueberries Actually, just keep falling out of the sky. And, hello. <laughs> and blueberries came falling out of the sky. Jelly covered the castle and she was saved by Fluffy the dragon, right? And if you wanna change how Fluffy the dragon saved her, that is totally fine. But I wanna hear your fun story of your voice telling this story. So your parents can um, record it on their yeah. phone. Hold on one second. Hold on. Uh, they can record it on their phone and then um, they can email it to me. And my email, I'll put it in the chat. 
Ooh, if I can spell. Still learning how to spell, so tricky. Jim and kids short stories dot, oops, that was. Jim at kids short stories dot org. And I'm going to pick the, the funnest, best story. And then you are going to be on the podcast, your voice. I'm going to introduce you and then it's going to be fun. All right. Um, so you guys can work on that today. All right. Who is ready to answer a question to win some free spy gear? Who's ready? Oh, I should, maybe I should. Um, well, I can't unmute everybody, but I see some hands. <coughs> There's some excitement. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, <clears throat> all right. I need you to put your thinking caps on. Okay, so we're gonna, I gotta find my question. All right, here's a good question. And the person who puts the answer in the chat first, who have your parents, get ready, get your fingers ready. Um, the, and so the question, we have to go back to the story of Miles and Jackson. Okay, so do you remember Miles and Jackson? There was something they did with a moon turtle. Okay, so here's the question. Here's the question. What? Here's the question. What did the moon turtle need to plant on the moon? What was it? What? Apples? Apples! Oh, someone said it, someone said it. Maggie and Stuart. That is the first correct answer I see. Great job. But I know everyone did get it cor uh, the answer correct. Good job. So we're gonna do this more, you know, every time we're gonna have a fun question. Um, wait, should I have a second question? Should we do a second question? All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so um, Maggie and Stuart, I need, um, Maggie and Stuart, are you on a camera? Can I see, are you waving? Say hi. lots of words, say hi. Hi. I, sorry, there's a lot of, I'm not seeing. Yeah. Oh, there you are, I see Maggie. Yes. Hello. Hey friends. Um, Yes, so uh, have uh, your, your- My brother did not draw anything but a squibble. Oh man, well he's still practicing. All he is I bet it's, yeah, oh that's beautiful, I love it. You have a really good blueberry castle too. It's only three though. All right, so Maggie and Stuart, um, send me an email and we'll, we'll connect about that. But here's the second question, all right? Maggie and Stuart, you've, you've already won. So this is, this is for all of our other friends for a chance to win. All right. So this past week, something crazy happened, uh, which we've already talked about, you know, headquarters was frozen. Purple Ninjas and Dr. Stinky Breath, they were working together. And it all started back on Monday, the very first story. Uh, Micah went to the museum. He went to see something and it was stolen. What was stolen from the museum? It was, it, it was the Magna Hoop. The Magna Hoop, great job. All right, Will, <laughs> William and Andrew, you guys were the first ones. Awesome. Thank you. Good job. Okay. All right, um, so you guys, can you wave to him? Say thanks. thanks. Oh my goodness, you're welcome. Good job. All right, friends. Um, so this has been super fun. Do you guys like these things? Yeah. Well, we are going to continue doing them. I'm, we're actually going to hop on here um, later tonight 
at uh, 10 central again, because there's kids all around the world. Did you know that right now kids are sleeping somewhere? Yeah, on the other side of the world, there's lots of kids that listen to kids short stories and they wanna be on this too. So tonight at 10 and tomorrow yeah. at 1 p.m. Central, we will be back on. So if you guys wanna come back on to tonight, well, you'll probably be sleeping tonight. I hope you'll be sleeping. I'm sure your parents hope that you'll be sleeping tonight. Um, but tomorrow, if you wanna hop back on, and hang, we can do that. But this has been super duper fun. It is always great to see you guys. Daddy. And we'll see you next time. Let's get your stories. Say thank you. Bye. Say thank you. Bye. 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 Ambrose, that was.